Good day and welcome to the One Piece Film YouTube channel. I am Frankie on fifteen. I'm Marco. And today we're going to be reviewing One Piece chapter eight hundred and fifty-three. What was it called? Title Not Here. Not Here. That was it. Yeah. I've been trying yeah. to remember that for so long, and then as soon as I start recording, yeah. I forget instantly. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, no worry. So the the the, the chapter starts. Um, one of the book parts of the chapter is. Um, Big Mom uh, talking to Brooke and tell it and basically telling him how amazing he is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how much of a, a oh, prize yeah. possession he is. How much she's, <laughs> she's gonna love him. I feel like he's like a doll to Big Mom now. Yeah, and she's gonna dress him up and mm. put him in like Barbie doll clothes and stuff. I could see that. Yeah, it's like an ironic twist of fate. Brooke's been spending the past five hundred chapters asking to see pants, and he's been stripped down to his pants. <laughs> <laughs> the irony is real. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. And we find out that uh, Big Mom doesn't just have two um, underlings. She has a third one. She's Napoleon the Hat. Oh, yeah. Napoleon the Hat. I love that guy. Yeah. I'm surprised I didn't notice before that he is like I thought. I didn't realize it was an actual living thing. I just thought it was a hat. I noticed. I noticed the eyes were moving, but I didn't. I didn't realize that it was. As strong as it was, because she says this is like one of my mo like one of my most powerful homies, but it's a hat. <laughs> yeah, and she says that they're all pretty much clones mm. of her mm. because she's directly put her. S I don't yeah. know. Did she say, she say like she directly put it in, and the rest of yeah. the people are not? I I don't know how it works, but yeah. maybe it's just more of her soul or something like yeah. that. Yeah, like a Horcrux. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say that. Maybe yeah. it's like Voldemort, and she's like. Yeah. She's like only one percent of herself now, maybe. Uh, like, I feel I feel like they've mentioned that, and it's, it'll be a plot point somehow. Yeah, and yeah. we don't know what the hat's powers are. Mm. Uh, just yeah. just protection, or what? And um, yeah, maybe it casts a oh. shield. We don't know. Yeah, maybe it's, find out. Maybe it's like a video game. Yeah. And then, um, so after that, we get um, we get putting putting storms yeah. into the room. She seems on a mission, hell bent. Um, yeah. I don't know, doing some weird shit. Yeah. And, and she covered her eye again. Yeah, she's covered her eye again. She's not showing it. And Brooke still thinks that she's a good, good person, which obviously he would, because why would he not think that? He doesn't know what's happening with the rest of the people. And she's like, "Oh, this bone guy. Ha ha. He's been captured. Ha ha. This is funny." <laughs> <laughs> and what? Yeah. And uh, so we find out some cool details that. She's from the three-eyed tribe, and yeah. that she she talks. Big Mom talks about how um, Roger managed to steal um, her poneglyphs last time using the power. What, what's it called again? The voice of all. The things. voice of all things. Yeah. And um, she says that she has her own trump card, and that turns out to be, I think so. Anyway, so it's pudding, right? Yeah. I feel I feel like that's what's being implied. Is yeah. That when she awakens the third eye power, she'll be able to read the pentagraph or whatever. Yeah. I don't know how that works. And what are the three tri three eye tribe? Are they like some ancient kingdom from the Void Century that got yeah. wiped out or something, maybe? I don't know. Because um, this is the first time we've yeah. really heard it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, but, it seems weird. Yeah. I mean, it, like, it kind of... If they do have it as the third eye is what allows her to read the poneglyph, it kind of makes sense because at the moment, it's literally only Nico Robin that can read poneglyphs, and with like with that in the One Piece universe and all these people saying, "Oh, I want to find One Piece," but they have no way of reading poneglyphs. Like at least we know that other pirates have a way of doing it, even if yeah. they don't have an O'Haran or Odin. <laughs> yeah, it clears things up a little bit. That mm -hmm. like, because you'd think everyone would just be like, "Oh, let's just go after Robin, right?" Everyone would yeah, just try and kidnap exactly. Robin, but that hasn't happened since mm. what seven. So it's like, maybe Kaido has his own way of doing it. Maybe he has his own three-eyed yeah. girl in his crew, yeah. <laughs> three-eyed dinosaur. He's on, girl. Um, he's on Wano, isn't he, uh, yeah. Kaido? And yeah. that's where um, that's where that's where the Kozukis are. So if there's anyone that he can find to read a poneglyph, like he's got a good chance there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So maybe Blackbeard has someone, or maybe Shanks has someone. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they all have some weird ways, and that's that's. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. If if um, that's the case, then. 
then Robin isn't so valuable. Maybe that's why her bounty isn't as high as I feel like it should be. Yeah. I feel like her bounty should be so fucking high. Exactly. But it isn't. Yeah. Um, what I have next? Uh, Mirrorland. No, no, the next part was Pedro. Oh, was it not Mirrorland? Oh, it was Pedro, wasn't it? Yeah. We got literally Dr. Eggman over here. Oh. It was... Slicing himself. That's such a weird ability, though. <laughs> I know, it's like... It's clearly Paramusia, mm. because... Yeah. If, if... I mean... If it was Zoan, he'd be able to, like... Well, I don't know how to say this. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not Zoan, because he can't transform. No. He, like... Yeah. It's with his. It's like an ability yeah. that's built into him where he's got like egg yolk yeah. and it cracks and he like evolves and then evolves again. Yeah. It's like the 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 count chicken or whatever is dangerous or something. So Pedro Pedro wasn't gonna mess about. Yeah, but this like brings up the question like this yeah. guy could be like, if I mean it clearly doesn't work like this. He probably he has a cap on his evolution where it ends as yeah. rooster or something, right? Yeah. But like, could you imagine if it didn't? end his rooster and it could just keep going so he has literally infinite <laughs> potential of how powerful it gets he could be the most powerful yeah. character in one piece <laughs> just keeps evolving yeah uh, uh, hey, the other thing i noticed as well the pedro used dynamite which like people in one piece don't use explosives and it works <laughs> like normally it goes really badly but he seems to have come out of it okay which is well i don't think i don't think tamago is dead from that yeah no definitely not i but... doubt that yeah, but yeah, he does seem to be using explosives, and he does seem to yeah. be somehow working, doesn't it? Mm. I mean, another person who explosive worked for was um, Gladius back in Retrosa. Yeah, his power was like explosives, right? Yeah. So it yeah. Kind of, those kind of worked, but mm. for the most part, yeah, guns, explosives don't work. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then Pedro, after he does the explosives, he gets dragged through the mirror world by Broppa, and um, they tell him about. Uh, uh, the the plan to get everyone from the mirrors, yeah. and from this part on, I think that everyone's gonna gather in the mirror world, and then they're gonna come up with a plan oh, yeah. to rescue Sanji. That'll be fun. Rescue Sanji and Luffy, yeah. I think. I'd like I'd like to um, give a special shout out to Carrot's drawings of all the Straw Hats because they all look beautiful. Oh yeah, those is good. The... Also, I feel like um, she should team up with Kanjiro. Oh yeah. Because then they'd actually have good, you yeah, know, good life-like <laughs> drawings. Would help for other than having that. And they'd all look like females. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, I mean, I could see, I could see them just taking everyone into the mirror world because they it's, it's plot armor at this point. Cause yeah. It's like a safe Yeah. Yeah. Um. One Piece introducing safe spaces that's very um very 2017. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. And then last yeah. is um Luffy, Luffy and Raju, isn't it? Um, is it? Yeah, At Luffy least. and Raju. Yeah. 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 Um, the thighs man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like that? I see. I did. I did. Um. I think I I think I'm pretty sure the post I left um, after I read the chat so it was just Raju thighs, <laughs> heavy breathing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, like, what is the number six for? I think I think it's the I think she's got a six on both legs and it's for German oh, six right, six yeah, because yeah. like Judge is a bit weird and he's got to stamp his authority on <laughs> everything. Yeah. Um, I forgot about. And that. I mean, if if Rachel doesn't want to wear pants, like I'm not, I'm not gonna stop her. <laughs> um, and she tells him about every, yeah. that Sanji knows everything now. Yeah. And Luffy's decided to go back to the place where he left Sanji in the first place, and he yeah. thinks that Sanji's gonna come, but I don't think Sanji's mm. gonna come because he's hell bent having his wedding, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, Sanji. The like the the panels they gave of him were very vague mm. because they said the words "There's no turning back now" and Luffy. But they didn't say it in a way that was like, there's no turning back now, meaning he's going to go. Yeah. But they also didn't say it in a way that that implies that he's going to go back to Luffy. Like, I can't really tell what he's doing. Yeah, well, that's that's the that's the dilemma that we've got, because yeah. the only way they can escape, like, well, is if Big Mom yeah. starts attacking the Vince Marks, right? Mm. And she's only going to start attacking the Vince Marks 
when the we- after the wedding yeah. when he's putting shoes yeah, Sanji. Exactly. So for so Sanji thinks some crew can escape. I've got to go through the wedding. I assume yeah. that's what he's thinking. So how will the so the straw hats have got to figure out a way of knowing what Sanji's going to yeah. do and saving Sanji right at the mm. last moment. As hopefully that's when Marilyn comes into play. Yeah, I think that's what will happen. And Trump is standing out there like, "Yo, what are you going to do?" Yeah. So we're setting uh, up for like the final. Yeah. The final part of this arc. Yeah. Which I'm happy about. Mm. Actually, so no, I'm can... thinking about it. The final part of this arc will be everyone running around because that's always what happens in One Piece. No, oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, something else I want to mention mm. is yeah, um, Brooke. Do, um, do you think he managed to get a copy of the Poneglyph just in the nick of time? I saw I saw quite a few people joking that he's hidden it in his skull. Yeah, that's what and I like, was going to mention. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it. I wouldn't say or that that's hair. completely impossible. Yeah, like he's he's he could well have hidden it, and he's just taking the um, the big mom abuse because. <laughs> <laughs> because he's not he's not able to actually fight his way out, but yeah. I mean, ha- having something as obvious as like a scroll holder is um, is is like recipe for for getting it for getting the copy taken away. Yeah, but if he's got it in his head, then she can't. If he's can't. if he's got it in his head, exactly. Yeah, big big mom's not gonna not gonna know that he can like. Yeah, how could you possibly know that? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? You wanted to mention? Ah, uh, no. I think that's. I think that's. I think we're good. No questions or anything. No. Um. Just excitement because we've had enough foreplay with the past two chapters. <laughs> yeah. Need to get. Need to get into the action now. Do you want to do a little prediction? What do you think is going to happen next? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Like, even though when when you see something happen and you go, oh yeah, I could have. I could probably have guessed that. At the same time, I don't want to. Because what I thought was going to happen is I thought that Sanji was going to reunite with Luffy in a far more direct way, in that he'd come and like he'd come and save him, give him a meal, like as he, like as Luffy's still coming up the stairs, he's like passed out or whatever from from lack of nutrition. <laughs> but now I don't know. Luffy's just going to have to sit outside for <laughs> for yeah. a while. While Sanji works his, works himself out, but out of, of any of the Straw Hats, I think Sanji's probably the best one to be in a dilemma because he's he's often quite quick on his feet. He's Mr. Prince after all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. My um, theory is that is that Sanji's yeah. got a plan because throughout all of One Piece, Sanji's yeah. always had a plan, right? Exactly. He's never just and knowing that his crew is here when yeah. before they weren't. It should give him some kind of motivation to come up with a plan yeah. if he didn't do from the start, right? Yeah. I, th- I feel like his initial plan was just like go through the die way. or just forget forget about it. But now, now he's gonna be able to come up with one that's that's more fun for us to watch. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is that everything now? Yeah, I think that's everything we yeah. need to mention. Are we doing, are we doing ratings? Um, yeah, I, I'm yeah. gonna go with um, uh, seven out of ten. No, I'd, I'd agree. I'd agree. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much uh, just build up and some. Exactly. Well, well, I can't just say build up because the things that was with Pedro and yeah. Tamago was a conclusion, mm. <laughs> and Brook and Big Mom was also a conclusion. To yeah. Some extent. But set up for the the, the final the, f- yeah. the final for part the, of the, for the main event. Yeah. Yeah. And nice revelations mm. with um, Napoleon and the Third Eye. With yeah. its true awakening, that'll be that'll be interesting. Yeah, can't wait to see the theories about that. All right, um, okay, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely. Tell us your theories in the Skype. It's not Skype group. The um, <laughs> <office> forum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Till then. Goodbye. <laughs>